Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano, and this is episode 219 of the World Famous University Love Podcast, also known as Online Marketing Moves. And we are coming to you live today. Today is Wednesday, March the 3rd, 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited to be here today. I hope you are excited to be here today. Today on the podcast, we will discuss your vision and how once you start your vision and people realize that this person is very serious, they too will jump on board your vision. Now, what am I talking about? A couple of weeks ago, people, I was down here. I will give you the setup. Now I record in my basement. I wouldn't say basement. I would say in my living room downstairs. I record down here in the living room. I pulled out an old dusty table. I stacked about five or six books up for the microphone. So we have the little microphone. We have the computer. And then we have a little table. Okay. So I was recording. And who comes walking down the stairs? My beautiful wife. Okay, she walks downstairs, she looks at me, I look at her, and she just kept walking, and then I thought to myself, uh-oh, I know what's about to happen. She's about to get me, she's about to make me an office. <clears throat> so, a few days later, she started pulling out um, different clothes out of this room that we have. That she told me it was going to be my office. And I said, what's going on? And she said, we are setting you up an office, sir. You are not going to be in the living room doing podcasts. I said, oh, okay. And she said, plus, it can give you some motivation. I said, we are motiv- we are a very motivated young lady, okay? And she said, I know, but it can always help you. I said, this is very true. So, now in the beginning stages, <clears throat> I'm not saying my wife didn't believe in me. Of course, my my wife has believed in me from the day I met her. My wife has more belief in me than I probably had in myself in the beginning stages of our dating, you know, our, of our relationship. But in the last few months, she has seen the dedication. She has seen the consistency. So now my wife is is on board, which, you know, not that I'm saying people. The one thing that you have to remember, if you don't believe it's going to happen, then how are anybody else going to believe it's going to happen, okay? So she definitely knew I was serious when Thanksgiving come around, and as she told you the story in the podcast herself. She was very annoyed because the oven wasn't working, wasn't cooperating, but yet I was in the room recording the podcast. I said, you know what? I got to do what I got to do. I got to do it for the people. So now my wife is on board. She sees the vision. She knows that we are going places. She knows that, you know, might not be tomorrow, might not be the next day, might not be the next month, but eventually, you know, within a year, two, I will be working from home on a regular basis. The office will be my stomping ground. I will be in there eight to 10 to 12 hours a day, writing, podcasting, doing whatever to generate money for me, her, and the little baby, which. My wife should be finding out soon what the sex is. I, mean, I don't know what she's waiting on, but you know, let's go. We need to we need to find all that out. But anyway, I just wanted to make that quick announcement just to say if you just start running towards your goals and start running towards the vision that you have for your life, then other people will jump on board and they will support you. Of course, you know, the ones that, you know, your loved ones, you know, or the people that you are close to, they will jump on board and they will support you and they will help you out as any way possible. OK, so you have to make sure that you are the one because people can't they can't want it for you. You have to want it for yourself. So once you want it for yourself and once you start putting in the, de- the dedication and the hard work and they will definitely jump on board. Now, <clears throat> I want to discuss with you marketing your content okay now what i what what i have been doing lately is 
normally after I record the I record a podcast, I put it on Twitter. And then now I have gone from putting it on Twitter. I put a couple of different videos on TikTok. I, I gotta do more with that. I go to the Facebook page, I upload it there. And I also every morning I I've I was doing two emails. We increased it to three emails. Let me tell you something. As long as you have a list of emails, you can email them as much as you want. Who cares? At the end of the day, they have two options. <laughs> they have two options. Read the emails or unsubscribe. That's it. You know, you don't you don't worry about people, oh, you emailing me too much, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? you sign you sign into my list you're gonna you get what you get so now this week i've been emailing three times three three times a day one i talk about the pot i do a little thing and then i upload the link to the podcast and i say check out the podcast and then of course i do my two affiliate links on a daily basis but i definitely upload the podcast because the more eyeballs to see the podcast the more listeners we can get and the more we can grow the podcast. And that's what you want. Whatever you're doing, you want, you want it to grow. And and for order, in order for it to grow, you need eyeballs. You need more people to see it. The more people to see it, the better it is. It's like a funnel, you know, a million people come in, maybe a hundred thousand stick around, you know? So just the more and more people see you, the more and more people know about you, the more and more, a better chance you get, the people will stick and stay with you okay so that's how you have to do it that's just like last night i wrote a short article on medium i said i gotta get i gotta get back into this i am very i don't know if you hear this in my voice but i am very determined to get to where i i am very determined to you know my wife she started buying me a lot of stuff for this office i have and she's like you know well, I I just told you. She said, you know, it will motivate you. And I'm like, mm, you're probably right. But I am like, I'm not going to waste this office space. I am going to get home and be home on a regular basis. So I am going to up the marketing. I'm going to up the affiliate marketing. We're going to step our game up. And we are bound and determined to get into this office. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly when the baby's born. But before my child goes to <laughs> Before my child goes to preschool, we will be full time working from home. That is the goal. That is the plan. And we will make that happen. All right. So. I say all that to say, put your content as much as many places as you can. We talked about this before and we are going to always talk about this because this is part of the online marketing moves podcast story. You know, we want you to attract as no matter what niche no matter what you are doing we want you to be able to attract as many people as you can to your story we want to attract as many people as we can to your you know videos the blog the youtube the whatever you're doing you know this whatever social media you're on we want people to stick and we want people to stay okay so the more people see it not everybody's gonna stick around but the more people that see it the better chance you get it's like i read this thing about pt barnum today you know pt barnum was a carnival barker you know (laughs) he uh he did the whole carnival thing and he was on a tour in europe and then he met jenny lynn okay jenny lynn was a swedish some kind of singer she's a very popular singer over there in europe and so he convinced her to come to America and go on tour. And he said, you know, I will pay you a handsome amount of money. P.T. Barnum didn't have a lot of money. He raised up some money. He basically put, you know, put up his house and a lot and a lot of different things. And what he did was he did a lot of advertising. He did a lot of he did a lot of um, newspapers, you know, word of mouth. He did a whole lot of stuff to get people to come see this singer and it paid off because when she pulled up you know in america it was forty thousand people waiting at the waiting at the pier for her to get off the boat so that's pretty awesome so you you can only imagine how many people that he talked to to get forty thousand people 
to be out there at the pier, okay? So he probably talked to, you know, at least, at least he talked to 150,000 people or 150,000 people saw it, probably saw the newspaper, you know? He probably put that ad in every newspaper in every city at that time to attract eyeballs to this singer coming to America, okay? And that's what you have to do. That's the, that's the one thing that people will not tell you. That's the one thing that, you know, people make out make this whole internet thing out to be very easy. And after a while, once you build an audience, it can get a little easier. But for you and for I, you know, we have to try to get as many people to see, you know, what we are doing, you know, see what we have going on. So that way they can make a choice. Either I want to listen to this guy or I don't. Or I want to listen to this young lady or I don't, you know? So that is that is how that was that is how it is. And the more people that you can get to see you or hear from you, the better off you will be. This is why people, you know, they buy the Facebook ads, the Google ads, the whatever, you know. But if you don't have a lot of money, then or if you don't want to spend a lot of money in the beginning, because you know, it's not like if you had a million dollars to <laughs> well first off if you had a million dollars to spend on ads i would probably put them in i probably wouldn't even be doing internet marketing if i had a million dollars i would be somewhere probably buying real estate or something like that i don't know i don't really know if i had a million dollars right now would i be doing internet marketing i don't know but i do enjoy the podcast form don't get me wrong but if you had a million dollars, would you be worried about, you know, hey, click on this affiliate link, you know, but who knows? But anyway, you don't have a million dollars for a budget. OK, you know, and of course, as you well know, the more money you have, the more you can spend on advertising. But you want to get more. You want to get better at gaining at getting organic traffic. You know, the more organic traffic you get, the more you can save the cash, you know, and make the and make the money instead of spending the money on advertising. Because a lot, that's another thing a lot of people don't tell you, you know, these people, we talked about this yesterday, people faking the funk, you know, some people will spend $900,000 on advertising and then they make 950000 and they go, boom, I'm $50,000, I'm $50,000 ahead of the game, you know, you know, they're like, hey, I made $950,000 in a month, but how much did you spend on the advertising, you know what I mean? So, y'all, y'all also have to be leery of that, but anyway. All in this podcast, I just want you to know, make sure that, you know, people see you, make sure that you know the vision that you want. And then that way people will see, people will see how determined you are. People will see the determination. They would see the desire in your eyes. They will see it in your, you know, being, and they will see it by your actions and they will run. They will come with you. They will run with you. Okay. My wife is right beside me, and I told her, I said, we are going to make this thing work, okay? So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the podcast. This is episode 219, you know? We will be back tomorrow with another hard-hitting episode. And by the way, I will post my little short, I wrote a short story about what you can do to get started in any in any kind of thing in life it's a very quick story it's only two words okay it's a two-word story but you'll get you'll get it and uh, you can check it out for yourself but as always we'll be back tomorrow with another hard-hitting episode also ladies and gentlemen be sure to tell a friend to tell a friend and if you haven't already please go to the facebook page look up online marketing moves you will see my mug like and follow the page we're uploading content on there on a regular basis and if you haven't already go to the youtube channel click and subscribe we are putting up videos not daily but semi on a semi-regular basis we have to get this whole schedule down pat but ladies and gentlemen and of course if you haven't already click subscribe to the online marketing moves podcast we come to you every day with a different podcast and also i know this is plug fest but we got we got to put it out there 
you haven't already, go to the email, the, the lousydriver.com. I hate that website. The lousydriver.com. You go, put your name, put your email address in there, and you will get one, two, maybe three emails from me every day. We pump out those emails. We're going to keep pumping them out. We're going to pump out more and more and more. One of these days, I'm going to send out like six, seven emails in a day. And um, I don't, you have to, I'm telling you, the world is fickle, everybody, okay? You have to make sure that people see you. Who cares? It's like a commercial, you know? Who cares if they get tired of, you know? Turn the, t- you either going to turn the TV off or you are going to keep watching them commercials, okay? So always keep that in mind, all right? But I hope you enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed hanging out with you. As always, everybody, this is Tony Rizzano. This is Online Marketing Moves, and we will talk to you later. Goodbye, and as always, everybody, peace.